Hello, and welcome to Review the Preview, where I decide if the trailers of Christian movies make me want to watch it or skip it. Today, we're looking at the trailer for Suing the Devil. Call him a nutcase, but one Luke O'Brien is suing the devil today. Ooh, over four minutes long? Satan. Really? Yes, Your Honor. You're suing Satan. <laughs> Wait, why would you try to get money out of a spiritual being? The devil is alive and he's well. Oh, black sunglasses, they must be evil. Well, do you expect the public to really buy the fact that you are $12,000 in debt on your credit cards? Hmm? I just want to say, huge fan, I adore you, I, I worship you, I love Kiss. Uh, what? Kiss, Kiss. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I hate Kiss. I'm a Tom Jones man. <laughs> the best trial lawyers this world has to offer. Mr. Think Tank. Ah, uh, puns for Mr. names. Ice. Definitely evil. Oxford. IQ 214. Oh. Yale Law. The youngest and best litigator in New York. Miss Shy. Sydney University. Don't let the name fool you. She is a shark in the courtroom. Mr. Innocent. Columbia Law. Why, yes, my soul patch is amazing, isn't Vegas. it? It's being billed as trial of the century, being seen by audiences around the world. And the verdict should be rendered against him for eight trillion dollars. Order! Order! <laughs> Mr. O'Brien, have you ever done internet porn? How can you sit there with that smug look on your face? Seven years! And still using profanity and making racist remarks. Mr. O'Brien, what other racist things have you said? Are you a racist? Yeah, Mr. O'Brien. Are you a member of the KKK? What sort of person are you? Do you call yourself a Christian? And then something happened. Wait, what movie are we doing now? The Bible fell out of the glove compartment. Had I backslidden so far from God that I was willing to kill a man? I'm gonna ask you something. You gotta be honest with me, alright? Yes. Are you sick, honey? Hey, isn't that the lady from Facing the Giants? I want you to win it. Oh yeah, that's her. You hear me? I want you to win it. <laughs> How did I get to where I become a man who hated people instead of? Loving my neighbor. Who is Jesus Christ? You want one, one sack not to do with anything, Your Objection. Honor? Objection! Mr. Defendant, Get will out. you take the witness Get stand when you are asked to? I take sheer delight in creating havoc in the world. I created noise! Unlike the dumb idiots you are, you worshipped it! Humans love the noise I created. And you know what? Noise drowns out any thoughts of God. What's the matter? Who shall love the music of hell? The music of hell is a sound effect library? <laughs> I said, get thee behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, sure, give away the ending, why don't you? Wait a minute, Corbin Burnson? Rebecca St. James, where were they? You know, every day... Oh, we're not done yet? There's people that die. And guess what? They're in just two places, and they're not really dead. They're either alive in heaven or alive in hell. You pick. <laughs> So, in summary, how was it? Well, I think it was... interesting. Apparently this movie was subjected to a ratings bomb attack by atheists on IMDb, which I think was great publicity for them. Better than this trailer is at any rate. The cinematography looks good, and it's an interesting premise, but the acting looks pretty weak, and the trailer is way too long, and it looks like it gives away the ending. Granted, I did find another trailer that cut the runtime almost in half, but even though they took stuff out, they still managed to give away the ending. And with that said, this trailer makes me want to skip it. 
Don't get me wrong, the movie may be good, but I really can't tell from this trailer.